Good morning, welcome to the Scrappin' Pallet Man channel. I found me a chair. Almost passed it up. Looked like a box. Ooh. Get in my truck. Oh, I see the popo. -po. Good morning. Now yesterday, I went through this neighborhood looking for resale and uh, picked up two beautiful end tables. I know that table probably could, Here, let's go take a look at it real quick. The table just looked a little bit thrashed, but the end tables were beautiful. Um, and this table's kind of beautiful too. But I left it just because it was pretty gouged up. And I know someone could do something with this, but it was super solid. But yeah, so the two end tables came with it. So I grabbed those and a bunch of other uh, resale stuff. And I was just on a resale mission. Um, so I left all scrap because I didn't want the scrap wrecking the resale. But I remember this. If I can get it out. Wow, oh, really? <laughs> Is there another lamp in there? Something. I'll get the uh, cord off of that. Passed up a door over there and got some Doors songs stuck in my head. People are strange when you're a stranger. This is gonna be awkward, but I think I can do it. Oh, that looks fun. I don't know, should I not even take it? I think I'm gonna tip it up and then tip it into my truck. Here, you can have the grass back. That's gonna fit actually right in there. <gasps> Comes with its own magnet. Excellent. We're part of the collection now. Perfect. Wait, is that plastic? It is plastic. Oh, tricked me. Ah. Is that a mower I see? And the homeowner showing up? I think it is. I'm parked on the wrong side of the road. You okay if I recycle your mower? Yeah, it, it almost works. I mean, it, almost? Yeah. Okay. They're just, I don't know if they're just something gunking up the car or something like that. Okay, I have a mower guy that I bring my lawn mowers to that um, he's an expert at it. So yeah, this is not going to go in the scrap pile then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you.
almost works. Works. <laughs> Some people ask me, why do you lift your mowers like that? Because I don't want to use my back. use my arms <laughs> this lamp looks nice I wonder why that bottom's all wrapped up <laughs> oh because <laughs> the concrete's coming apart that's why I'll bet that cord's going through the concrete did you take this tire that's a big old tire boy it's full it's steel. I'm not touching it because I don't mess with um, just rubber tires are notoriously hard to get rid of without having to pay for it. Now this on the other hand is coming with me. So I talked with um, an AC guy and asked him about how can I take, ooh, this is not light, uh, about how I can take a Freon out of compressors and things like that. And he showed me, he showed me his system and it take, it's about a thousand dollar system for him to recover the Freon, the refrigerant, out of these, or out of anything, um, and uh, yeah, he's like, he's like, you can do it, but it costs about a thousand bucks. What do you think, aluminum? There's a chance. It's aluminum, I can tell by its lightness. Yeah, I don't think I could do that with a steel chair. Ooh, can I do it? Oh, I'm getting shaky. Have a seat, chair. No, you have a seat. Aluminum. Not like I really do much with aluminum anyway. Right, I gotta do a scrap pickup. I'm not gonna record it though. So you guys just stay here in the truck. stuff here all right so I got my scrap pickup and yeah so we had a ladder it's broken um, so, so he got some motors for me and I think that's brass with some stainless steel inside hmm. I wonder if that works I bet it works mosquitoes out here ah come on all right so that little fridge doesn't work but the main reason for my stop is I need to tie this stuff down so I'll see you in a bit this is the kind of little truck that I want to get yeah it's a little commercial truck well obviously with a, a flat bed and a Tommy lift yeah I think it'll happen I'm gonna I'm put the goal out there right now, within 12 months. What was that? I saw just a little pipe sticking out. Might as well grab it. I got a crick in my neck yesterday. I haven't had one of those in years. And it happened like for no reason. I think I was just walking and I was in eh. My neck just got this thing where I can, can't really turn to the right. Ooh, there's a couple goodies in there. Yeah, I got this crick on my neck. Something else that hasn't happened in a while that I did this weekend, besides a crick in the neck. 
I played in the church band. I did. What's that hose? Thought that was a big old. That. Why do I want this? I don't. I'm just, uh, fine, I'll take it. I'm not taking that basket though. What is this? Oh. Um. Yeah, so I played in the band this weekend. Church band. And it was kind of different because we uh it was all for online i don't know why i'm keeping this i'm not really going to do anything with it so uh and i played at the big church in saint charles first time i've ever played on that stage worshiping jesus but it was it was pretty awesome there was no one in the audience um we were playing uh we, we did a whole service uh to an empty auditorium put them back together and put them in here hmm. how's this going Perfect. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. This guy behind me is a picker. <sighs> yep, I think so. I've seen him before. Huh? Do I see sporting stuff in the trash? What do we got here? Shelf? Headboard, sporting equipment, some mud for your muddy shoes, whatever they're called. A bag. First things first though. The football. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to make it where the, <laughs> see the goalposts where the chair is? You ready? Made it. It's a little off, but hey, gloves. Yes. 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 No. No. Scrap. Cool. This will work. I like that football. It's already been kind of picked through a little bit. Uh, old shoes, clothes. Scrap pallet man colors? Yeah! Yeah, the war. Kind of want one of these for my house. For muddy shoes. <laughs> yeah, this has been picked through by either neighbors or pickers. That's a musical instrument right there. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's go vertical. Unless it's gonna get stuck on this ladder. It might. Not really. That's good. I've been framed! This might be pushing it.
good. Oh, you come with me. You ride up front. A little something peeking out at me. Recycle me. Okay. If I can. Nope. Thought it would twist. It didn't. and a shark, it looks like. Yep, that there is a shark vacuum. Oh, no. But it's a shark, Paul. No, thank you. was gonna be the cord cutter, but I decided not to. Can't tell if this is a metal pole or wood or what. And it's wood. Oh, got tricked. Oh. This community knows where to put their scrap. Ugh. Their diesel scrap. I just don't know where to put it. Yeah, guess what? Right One of these is a diesel. Hmm, that doesn't quite work, does it? Yeah, maybe. Over. There we go. What is this little juicy bit of goodness? I can't say get in my truck when everything's pretty much from here above. <laughs> um, same spot, I guess. Yeah. Probably nothing in here. Wait a minute. Get in my truck. I thought you said get on your truck, pal. Wow. That thing's heavy. Like heavy, heavy. Why are you so heavy? Ooh, that was a big old problem right there. Something burn up. Is that a bread maker? Should I do it? almost a bad idea when well, it's not a bad idea it's good there's someone yelling what is this thing it's a new wave Oh, it's a music player. New wave. Now, is this all copper and brass in here? 
Hmm. But it is. Some of it sticks. Definitely. Sticks. Sticks. Enough of it sticks where I'm not going to be tearing it apart. Now, where's this going to go? Is the question. Hey, maybe this will work. Hey, that works. Okay, two more neighborhoods. Actually, it's this neighborhood and the one where that truck kind of came out of. And that'll be it for my route. I once had some scrap, or should I say, scrap once had me. So I didn't show it, but I was park talking with a garbage man and uh, he was telling me that four or five people uh, either called in got sick on vacation or whatever so he said he said this morning we looked on their chart um, there's a bunch of white out and different stuff so um, yeah so that's why I'm out this late and there's I'm not competing with any garbage men per se I got one guy trying to do all of this and remember, they have to go down each street twice. They have to go down this side of the street, then that side of the street. And they have to stop at every house. So I am lucky that I can zip through my route, one of their garbage day routes, that's really what it is, um, just within an hour or two. And, uh, and it takes them, and it's designed to take a, a couple garbage men all day to do a route. Man, it is beautiful out here. Absolutely gorgeous. I think the mosquitoes thinks it, it's gorgeous weather as well. They are out here a lot. fingernails on a chalkboard. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. Snip. Um, I'm thinking right here. Yep. Ooh, my shoulder felt that one. Hmm, not good. And I got all kinds of things wrong. Shoulder acting up, cricking my neck, bad attitude. Hmm. Maybe. All right. Can I? Oh yes, I can. That worked out way better than I thought. Oh come on! Stop! In the name of the law. Yay! I even get some fun out of it. That might have been in the wrong one. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that stuff actually goes in here. Okay, how we doing? You doing good, truck? Hmm? You need some oil? Need a drink? Need a wash? Need some maintenance? Let me know what you need. Let's get some insulated copper wire. 40 cents per pound. That's right. 
And yes, there is a motor in here, but motors are 10 cents a pound right now, and it's about a pound's worth of a motor. So, yeah, someone put a comment in my comment section saying, hey, Acme, don't rip apart vacuum cleaners. And I just replied that that vacuum cleaner has about a 10 cent motor in it. And so even if I did 100 vacuums an hour, it's 10 bucks an hour. And plus, I don't enjoy it. That's really the reason why I don't do it. There's a lot of roofing going on right now. I mean, like a bunch. <coughs> it works. Holds up 280 pounds. Huh. Should I keep you? I give you to someone. How's this work? That was bright. Now, it was only about three months ago where this whole lake was frozen over. Yeah. Ooh, windy, but beautiful. It's a little warm, but the breeze just makes it perfect. You're not gonna believe this. So I'm here at Casey's Mini Mart getting a drink and um, some scrappers stopped by and bought the lawnmower right off me. But check out their vehicle. It's amazing. Yeah, they bought it for 20 bucks right off the truck. But look at this scrapper truck. So that's the Tommy Gate lift. Wow. Dude. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> How long you guys had this truck? Two years. Two years? Yeah. And it's your truck? It's not part of B&O or anything? No, nothing. It's got, everything is separate from there. Okay. Wow. That's a 2500 too, so. Yeah. You guys put a ton on here a lot? Yeah. Like a 2,000 pounds? Yeah. Well, you gotta work for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this helps. Oh well, yeah, it does. Wow. It's sweet, man. All right, I'm gonna do one more tour around this thing because it's just that awesome. Yeah. The wheels. <laughs> oh, you got the rims, yeah. <laughs> that is sweet. Yeah, this is my little baby truck. That's a real scrapper truck. Two years, huh? Yep. Dude, I'm impressed. $20 bill in my pocket. Now I have a little bit more room. Yeah. Pretty sweet deal. All right, so this is the last neighborhood in this route. And I've only seen the garbage man twice. Um, and like no sections have I driven by. I'm like, oh yeah, garbage man's already been here. So uh, yeah, this has been some good scrapping. All right, so I didn't see anything in this neighborhood. So, yeah, so this is wrapped up. I got a couple things up my sleeve. <laughs> um, talking to a bike guy. Um, and I have a scrap pickup, but the bike guy just sent me a text, so I better check this out. Oh, dude, get off my scale. That's my scale. Any guesses? 4,400 pounds. Nope. 4,460. All right. I like it. That's a good number right there. Now, normally that's just the pile of scrap. Look at all that and all that it's just there's so much scrap all right 
I'm gonna back up right there. Try not to run over that hunk of metal right there. All right. I don't think they'll come here anyways. All right, we'll see. Who knows? All right, man. We'll match them. We'll beat them. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how much we'll weigh out. Okay. What do we see here? I can't see anything. Thirty-eight eighty. Wow. Huh? Thirty-eight eighty. Look at this big old chunk of steel just sitting here. Where's that copper? All right, I'm, I'm gonna get it out of the road at least. <laughs> so stupid. Hang on. I just had to get that out of the road. I, I'm not sure how they dropped it, but yeah. So I kept that aluminum and the foot. That's an awesome football. And then some wire and a couple of things. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now? I have another small scrap pickup, which I don't think I'm gonna record. And take care of those bicycles hit so i sent him i sent the bike guy the pictures of the three bicycles i have we'll see if he wants them i better go actually i'm gonna check right now real quick all right so it looks like he wants both bicycles cool so i'm gonna get give him the black mongoose and the yellow schwinn that i've had for a while cool all right so we're gonna load up those bicycles but before that i just want to say god you are awesome thank you for Allow me to be a part of the band to worship you. Because God, I know one thing is that in this world, I'm probably not gonna be a scrapper up in heaven, but I do know that I'm gonna be worshiping you in heaven. So worshiping you down here and up there, it's that's never gonna stop. Thank you for that, God. I can't wait, even though I'm gonna wait, I can't wait to see what heaven's all about. Mm, it's gonna be so good. God, give us the strength right now to do the next right thing. Because sometimes, God, I mess it up. And I don't even realize I did the wrong thing. Lord, until after I messed up stuff, hurt people's feelings. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen.
You didn't catch it? I got a grill. this neighborhood real quick but I am gonna end this video right now because I got some errands to go run um, and I need to get my, my stinky self in the shower <laughs> so I can be presentable out running my errands but just in case there's another piece of scrap out here I just thought I would zigzag through the neighborhood so thanks for hanging out with me you are